Hello, my name is Stanislav Tiasarenko and here um, is the second part of the TIPO tutorial. Let's create a cylinder and number of vertices say to 30. It's very important. Just keep in mind that then just move uh, our cylinder up a bit by pressing G and pressing Z for that axis. Rotate it by pressing R and pressing Y for Y axis or just uh, put uh, the 90 degrees number. Um, move it again uh, to placed and uh, scale uh, the handle to the shape and proportion that we want. So let's make this cylinder a bit wider, uh, press S, uh, then press X uh, to uh, scale it along X axis, uh, like that. Uh, then reduce its size a bit by pressing S. By uh, pressing uh, Shift uh, X, uh, we can uh, exclude uh, the X axis uh, and uh, scale it in uh, Y and Z axis plane. Press tab to go edit mode, then press 3 and uh, select faces, then delete and in the menu delete faces. So now we want uh, to work uh, symmetrically uh, on this handle. Uh, so uh, I selected uh, the vertices uh, from one side and press 0 uh, to move them to the center uh, of the cylinder. Then add modifier and add mirror and uh, select that axis. Then press uh, Shift R and insert some loops. Further, you will see why I doing so. One important note uh, that the mm, radial segments of the cylinder must be 30. And this is very important for the technique that I am going to use uh, to mm, make this Rebels uh, on this cylinder. So keep in mind uh, the number of segments is 30. So select a cut tool and uh, make uh, these uh, cuts uh, through our loops that we created. We mm, join uh, two vertices, uh, then uh, give a space uh, at one edge and join to another vertices. Now on the left side uh, of this loop, so we uh, don't pass through any edge. So we just draw uh, these uh, new edges all around the cylinder and uh, if uh, I calculate uh, the segments of the cylinder right, uh, we will end with a perfect match uh, on the top of this cylinder. So yeah, uh, we have the perfect match and uh, our uh, new edges spread evenly across the uh, uh, radial of the cylinder. So uh, go to side view by pressing on Y axis, then press uh, Alt Z to go in a transparent mode uh, and uh, now we need uh, just to uh, select our new edges and move uh, it uh, left a bit uh, to uh, get more round uh, shapes of the new edges that we created. 
just press uh, G, uh, then uh, uh, press X to move it on uh, X axis. Uh, we need one more extra loop. Just uh, select uh, these edges and uh, we will uh, divide them to get uh, the perfect uh, centered uh, loop. So go to edge, subdivide, and uh, now select the cut tool and um, connect um, this loop into one continuously. It, this loop will help us uh, to um, get rid of this jaggedness of the uh, rounded edges that we created previously. Uh, we will further move them uh, a bit uh, to the side uh, to get more rounded shape. So, uh, go to side view, then uh, go to transparent mode and again select our vertices, press G, uh, then press X uh, to move them uh, along X axis. And now we have uh, more rounded um, like a pre-built geometry for uh, our revels in our handle. So just now we need uh, to leave uh, these edges untouched but uh, flatten uh, all the geometry uh, that is situated between them. Uh, to do in so just select uh, all the points uh, that are inside our shapes and uh, scale the, them down a bit uh, so uh, they will form uh, this uh, flat line between uh, the edges. Press S and press um, Shift X and we slightly move them in, in the center then uh, select uh, this uh, central uh, polygons and do the same process uh, just uh, to give a slightly straight line and we don't need uh, to make it perfectly straight Now we need uh, to get more smooth transition, uh, so uh, we just need to select uh, these edges and uh, apply the set flow to them uh, to make them more uh, smoothly going and blending inside our shape. So I select all the edges that I need then press set flow then select uh, this one as well and set flow again a oh, couple of times uh, so we get more smooth uh, transition for them but uh, not perfect, uh, so uh, select again these edges and uh, just uh, scale, in, uh, scale them inside a bit uh, so we get um, the shape uh, that we want. Yeah, it's look pretty okay for now. Here I just uh, applying uh, some uh, set flows uh, as well, just to further uh, smooth a bit uh, the transitions, but uh, it's already look good. And we achieve uh, the goal that we want.
the next step will be uh, to add uh, some loops uh, to our handle uh, to make uh, it wider in the center and a little nearer uh, to uh, the bottom uh, of it. Uh, so I add uh, some loops um, and uh, scale them up and down a bit uh, to get uh, this shape. Uh, I add uh, some cross sections of the loops um, by pressing Shift R. Uh, then uh, select uh, all the loops that I add and uh, set apply a set flow to them. Uh, so uh, they will be uh, smoothly uh, transferred uh, from one to another without uh, any noticeable jagginess. Uh, then I just uh, apply some scale to the central loop uh, to make uh, all the shape more smoother. Uh, just selecting loops and uh, applying uh, set flow to them uh, until I get uh, the result uh, that I want. It looks pretty okay for now. Some more set flows. Mm -hmm. We got our edge uh, that uh, moved a bit just by pressing G uh, and slightly move it uh, to the left. I'll fix this problem. Set flow again. And we have uh, our shape for the handle, but mm, like for me, the tips of the handle uh, mm, to have a uh, too small radius compared to the center. And now mm, I just go to transparent mode by Alt Z, mm, select the vertices on the tips, uh, and just uh, scale it up a bit to get. Uh, overall shape uh, of the handle more pleased for me. Uh, just again uh, select these loops, uh, set flow to make the smooth transition. I think it's look okay. Uh, this is it for our second part and see you in the third part. Have a good luck!